What's up guys? It's the first Wednesday of the month, so of course that means it's time for a new curl friends video. Today I'm super excited to be working with one of my personal curl friends, Danielle. And Danielle has about a 4B hair texture. Make sure that you guys check her out down below, check out all her links, and follow her on Instagram, of course. But let's get straight into this twisted Frohawk. So if you're like Danielle and you work out five days a week, I know that's crazy, then dealing with your hair can be super hard. So today I just wanted to show you how you can refresh your hair basically halfway through the week. So we did not start off with freshly washed hair with Danielle. This is basically a week old twist out and we're just about to really vamp it up. So as you can see, all I did was part off two sections on either side of Danielle's hair, nothing crazy. And now I'm just working with the first section I'm just detangling it. I just added some water and some Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. So that is basically the only product we use throughout this video. Danielle likes to use the moisture milk basically to moisturize her hair. So I just went ahead and used her favorite product. And I also used Eco Styler later on in the video, but those are the only two products that you'll need. So now that this entire section is pretty much thoroughly detangled, I'm just gonna part off my first row and start doing my flat twists. So I just sped it up a bit and as you can see I'm pretty much done with a lot of the twists on this side of Danielle's hair. All you have to do is part off your row, make sure that you part your twist very neatly. I'm telling you that is the best way to create the illusion that your twists are perfectly done. Just make your parts neat, trust me, it's really simple. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start flat twisting. I used a little bit of Eco Styler to lay down the edges of her hair because I want to make sure that everything looks really nice and simple. So as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit of extra Eco Styler Gel to her edges to make sure that they're nice and smoothed down. Now when you're parting your section to create your flat twist, make sure that you add water and some extra moisturizer if you need it and then go ahead and finish all of your flat twists. So this is what Danielle's hair looked like once we finished the first side of our flat twist and they look really, really nice and neat and I'm telling you it's super easy. Again, just create some really nice smooth parts and then slick down the edges and it will look like you are a pro. So I basically just did the exact same thing on the other side of her head and now I'm pretty much done. So we are gonna start forming this frohawk. So it's really, really, really easy once you get to this part, all you're gonna do is start pinning the twist all the way up into the frohawk to create the illusion of a frohawk. <laughs> So all I'm using to secure Danielle's hair is just some regular bobby pins just to make sure that you secure them really tightly because at the end we're going to loose out these twists and we don't want them to unravel. And as you can see I've already parted off the first two twists and I've left them alone because we are going to do something different with those. So once you're done pinning down one side of your hair go ahead on the other side and do the exact same thing. So I already pinned down the other side of Danielle's hair, so let's get started on the front. I went ahead and parted a front of Danielle's hair off. Since she's been going to the gym and sweating, that part kind of got messed up, so we're just going to hide that. And this is a great trick if you have gym hair by the end of the week. So I'm just parting off those two twists at the front, and I'm pinning them over her hair to create a little hump. And it's easier for me to show you than to explain this, so just go ahead and watch this part of the video video.
The last part of this tutorial is just to go ahead and loose out this twist and you have your fro hog. You would not believe that Danielle has been rocking a five day old twist out and now she has a whole entire style that can last her another week. If you guys want to check her out, remember to go and follow her on Instagram. And if you like this cover of I Bet by Sierra on the flute, go ahead and check out Jeff Kearns on SoundCloud. His links are also below. I can't wait to see you guys next month for another Curl Friends video and I am definitely running out of girlfriends, so I'll be reaching out to you guys very soon. Peace out, guys.